Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning as we celebrate our 125th anniversary together. It is with pleasure that I welcome our previous pastors and, the, and those pastors who are called, who call this church a home, back to this church to help us celebrate. Let us come together before the Lord in prayer. Receive our gratitude, Holy God, for the years through which you have led us and opened us to the future you promised. In the years ahead, grant us your encouragement and the work of your ministry, your consolation in our defeat and your challenge to our complacency. Give us such trust in your abiding Holy Spirit that we may find joy and peace in our common life, strength and courage to live in the world for your reign, and hope in the gospel of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us now stand and share the, the passing of the peace. The peace of Christ be with you.
seated. <laughs> and I invite Pastor Cindy to come and share a reflection with us. so good to see your faces and be in this space again with you. For me, the journey to today really started with a baptism. Uh, in fact, it started with two baptisms. About six months after I started preaching regularly in this congregation, just about three months after I signed that contract to be the pastor here, I was approached by a family uh, living out in Lemonster at the time, wanting to baptize their baby and their eight-year-old son. I almost always say yes to baptisms. I kind of feel like God's love is big enough that there's no reason to say no, so my answer was yes from the beginning. And as we talked about baptism, as we talked about baptizing these two boys, um, I learned a little bit more. And, and in the course of those conversations, I was told where we come from, it's the tradition to take up a special offering at the baptism. Okay. Sure, special offering? All right. <laughs> Even then, the church. Uh, could always use a little extra financial help. So I said yes, not knowing what I was saying yes to. The session said okay, not knowing what we were saying yes to. And then that Sunday, as George and Caroline brought their family, and their family from across the northwest and southwest of Cameroon kept coming, and kept coming, and our congregation was filled to bursting with people from around the world. Bob Malcolmson of Blessed Memory wrote in the attendance pad that there were 212 people here that day. I think he gave up counting and just picked a number at some point. I can't really imagine 212 people here. But for me, that was the beginning. I saw this larger community that I knew nothing about. And as we were introduced to a special offering where people gathered at the back of the sanctuary and with clapping and dancing came down, celebrating the baptism of Ryan and Princeton. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And I saw a possibility that this could be a church with clapping and dancing and people from everywhere who were all welcome and who changed us and how we do things. It was a hard journey. Someone uh, pinning on one of the corsages today said something about being a badge of honor. And I thought, well, that's kind of appropriate because it was hard. It was hard to go from who we had been and, and that history of the church to shift to who God, I still believe, and you believe, is calling us to be. It was a hard journey. We lost friends along the way. And it came to a point where the church, because of the conflict inside the congregation, and I learned later a different conflict outside the congregation, we came to the point where we thought we might have to close the doors. But the session was faithful, and the session had hope, and the session said we're not done yet and called the congregational meeting, and in that October, the congregation said, we're not done. We're not done. And there was a recommitment that day, a recommitment to the ministry and the vision, a recommitment to faith and hope, a recommitment that God was indeed doing something in our midst, 
and it was not going to be complete in the service closing the doors. But instead, we needed to push on. And here you are. Here we are. 2018. It's hard to believe that that baptism back in 2007 set us on this path. And I guess it's appropriate, at least for me, that this began with baptism. Because that is where God claims us. That is where the love of Jesus raises us up. That is where the Spirit calls us into new life. So for me, this beloved, beautiful, inclusive, welcoming congregation claiming that at the beginning through the waters of baptism, exactly right. I celebrate where you are today, 125 years after the first Presbyterians claimed this place in Clinton, Massachusetts. I celebrate the lives we have touched literally around the world. And I celebrate your commitment, born out of baptism, to be a place where all regardless of race, ethnicity, orientation, sexuality, regardless of language or place or culture, regardless of anything, or all, all, all of them. Join me in the intro, which is in everything. God, you have been our refuge. From one generation to another. Before the mountains were brought, were brought forth, or the land and the sea were born. From age to age you are God. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in this morning. So, so we shall rejoice and be glad all the days of our life. May the graciousness of the Lord our God be upon us. And prosper the words of our hands. Hear now the invitation. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Trusting in God's grace, let us confess our sins. You know us so well. You know us so well. What we remember. Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Hallelujah. 